Welcome to Spoonful of Courage. I'm Dr. Chuck, the best guy to see on the worst day of your life. And I'm here with Susan Smith-Jones. Now, she is a holistic expert, and she we're talking about her new book, Uplifted. And I just kind of want to bring out the question. You, you know, Susan, so many people in our culture today are just stressed out. I mean, they're just yeah. stressed to the max. And so yeah. what is your take and what are your thoughts about why people are so stressed and how do we begin to to see life from a more, more holistic viewpoint? Well, uh, that great questions. And everyone I know is more stressed out than they ever have been. And what causes other people stress maybe doesn't cause me stress. Right. It could be weather related, deadlines, commitments, fights with family members, uh, the price of gasoline, <laughs> um, inflation, uh, rising crime in cities. So it could be different for everyone. But when you don't manage your stress well, so many things happen in your body. It increases blood pressure. It makes it more difficult to sleep, causes constipation, suppresses your immunity, causes aches and pains. Uh, It reduces the effectiveness of your cardiovascular system. So many things. So there are many ways you can handle stress. One of the best ways we've talked about is make sure you get enough sleep at night and keep your body hydrated. Yep. Another is make sure you exercise on a regular basis, religiously. And that doesn't mean just on Easter and Christmas. So, uh, so, 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 so let's back up. So for the yes. person who's just trying to begin an exercise program. Yes. What do you recommend? Well, walking is one of the most underrated of all activities. My grandmother, Fritzi, used to say to me, walk your dog every day, whether you have a dog or not. (laughs) Uh, And Henry David Thoreau said an early morning walk is a blessing for the whole day. And there was a wonderful study done at USC, close to where I am. And they took a group of stressed and anxious people. Of course, none of your audience would qualify because your whole audience is chill. Yeah, we've got it all under control here. Yes, but they took this big group and divided them into two. They had one group walk around the track, a flat track for 15 minutes, getting their heart rates to at least 100 beats per minute. So it wasn't like jogging or running. It was a almost like a stroll. Risk wall. Yep, exactly. And then uh, then they, they tested the body with EMG, electromyography, to see the amount of tension in the muscles. The second group did no exercise, but they were given uh, a tranquilizer. And they discovered that the group that actually did the aerobic workout their tension in their body was 20% decreased after 15 minutes, much better than the group given a tranquilizer. It's the natural endorphins of the body were being released. Yes. And now I was just going to say, there was another study done in the UK by Dr. Malcolm Carruthers with 400 people. And he discovered that 10 minutes of an aerobic activity doubles the level of the happy hormones, those endorphins in your body that give you a wonderful, happy feeling. And that is one of the reasons I I make sure, unless something comes up, that I get the workout done in the morning because I want the blessing, like Henry David Thoreau said, of that workout all day long. It makes you a happier person. It makes you more creative and peep, and it puts confidence under your wings. It gives your skin a healthy glow. It helps you get the weight off. So, but with your exercise, you want to do some aerobic and some strength training, a little weight training two, three times a week. But you also have to do flexibility exercises like stretching, something that yoga, something that will help you because doing aerobic and strength training, while they're great for you, they tighten you, yep. firm you. You want to, and I think, Dr. Chuck, you are as young as you are flexible. 
interesting observation. If you ever go to a, to a nursing home, Dr. Susan, you'll notice that everybody is drawn up, exactly. people in the nursing home. And, you know, I think flexibility is one of the things we don't think about very yeah. often, but the, just the significance of, of stretching yeah. every day. And as you yes. get older, you see people and they begin to squunch up at everything. I so, know, I so, know. So, you know, I think f- for longevity purposes, that's one of the best things that you could do. So aerobic, a little bit of strength and a little bit of stretching, 10 minutes a day goes a long way. And I'll tell you something. Yeah. You know, Dr. Susan, maybe there's too much information, but my pool is filled with algae and I haven't been able to swim for the past three weeks. And it's been driving me nuts. I mean, I've noticed the difference of just 10 minutes of not being out That's there swimming. Right. And um, and so uh, and so now maybe I've decided I'm just going to swim in the green gunk anyway. And I feel so much better. <laughs> just getting out well, there and swimming and so i want to encourage maybe, people to take that first step maybe part of your exercise is cleaning out the algae <laughs> <laughs> miss the dr susan now you're now you're meddling because you sound like my wife so we're going to stop on that <laughs> spoonful of courage and we're here with dr susan smith jones you can find so much information on her website susansmithjones.com she's got videos she's got audios she's got all kinds of stuff they're going to help you see the big picture of life. And so this is one of several interviews that we have. Susan, it's really been an honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to our next visit.